Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this is Khaled, as uh, Lord Rahman introduced me. And um, I, first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me and I would like to say peace be upon you all. And, uh, and may Allah uh, protect all of us and guide us to the right path. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Amin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. That was Arabic uh, introduction, which means peace be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and praise be to Allah. And uh, we believe and we uh, bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Uh, my topic uh, for today's presentation is about the oneness of Allah, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means glory uh, to Allah. Uh, the oneness of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we are Muslim, we believe that there is only one God. And uh, uh, he, there is only one God, he is worthy to, to be worshipped. And uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God. So first of all, I would like to answer, or uh, would like to ask first, let's say, put it this way. If we want to ask, what is the purpose of the life? So why we are here? Why we have been created by the God? Why did the God create it? You know, why did the God create all the heavens? And why did the God create the earth? Why did the God create every creation in this life? Why we are here? So the question is, Allah said in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبِدُونَ And this is the verse in the Quran. Uh, it's in Arabic, uh, uh, it's in Arabic obviously. And the translation of this uh, verse is, I have only created jinns and men that they may serve me. So which means that the purpose of this life, why we are here, why we have been created by the God, what is the purpose of create all the creation of God is to worship Allah Himself alone. And this is the definition of the oneness of Allah in Islam. So with the oneness of Allah in Islam is to worship Allah Himself alone none other partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory to Him. And also Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, clarify this idea, which is the oneness of Allah. We call in Islam, we call Tawheed. And the Tawheed means oneness of Allah. So if I say of the presentation, Tawheed means the oneness of Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory to Him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he clarified this idea when he was asked by Gabriel. Gabriel came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they, uh, he asked him, O oh, Prophet Muhammad, what is Islam? And the Sahaba, the companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they, weren't, uh, they were around him. And they say, and Gabriel asked Prophet Muhammad, what is Islam? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, Islam was built upon five pillars. I've mentioned here just one. And the other four, it's like uh, apart from this topic, which is fasting and... Uh, uh, doing Hajj, going to Mecca, and uh, praying, and giving a charity. But the first one that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, indicates, he said that Islam was built up on five pillars. The first one is La ilaha illallah, which means there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. There is no God but Allah, which is the oneness of Allah, which is the Tawheed. And the Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the servant and the last messenger of Allah. So this is the concept of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. We do not worship anyone with Allah. We do not perform any kind of worship to other than Allah. So we perform any kind of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself alone. And uh, so, but on the other hand, there is Tawheed, which is the oneness of Allah, and there is something else on the other hand, which is the shirk. But what is the shirk? The shirk is to associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with glory to Him in any kind of worship. For example, praying, for example, giving a charity, for example, fasting. Any kind of worship of we perform it to any other than Allah, so which means shirk. Shirk means association with Allah with any kind of uh, worship. And shirk is against the ones of Allah, the Tawheed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا This is the Arabic verse and the English translation is and serve Allah and join not any partner with Him and this is the most dangerous thing in the Islam and the, uh, the Tawheed is the most 
important thing in the Islam. The Tawheed, important thing in the Islam, and the Shirk, which is association with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the most dangerous things in the Islam. So please. Uh, we've got example of the Shirk in those days. Actually, uh, this topic is uh, mainly to the Muslim uh, brothers, and uh, we hope that the Muslim as well will get benefit of that. Uh, some of the uh, Shirk, which is against the Tawheed in those days, uh, as you can see in those pictures, that one it's, uh, it's called Tamimah in Arabic. It's, uh, it's kind of, you know, it's a piece of clothes and it's uh, well tidied and all the people, you know, uh, some people wrote some things inside that one and put it there and they uh, seek assistance uh, from the jinn uh, and they seek assistance from the, you know, some, from the people or from the jinn, uh, not from Allah. And some people they wear that one and they put it to protect themselves from the black eye. I think it's, uh, you know, this definition, it's a black eye or something like, if you got the new things and the people say, oh, he's got the new things. So uh, we want to protect ourselves. So that might things, you know, that things, we don't want to, you know, get it away from us. So we, that some people, they wear those things, or you can see it's like an eye, and that some people believe that this eye protects them from the black eye or the black magics or like this one or this one as well it's uh, usually wearing by the, the you know the women they put it like as a necklace or you know a ring all those stuff so those things are against the tawheed and some people ask why are that against the tawheed they are looking like you know it's like you know, something that you you put it as you know it's like to make yourself pretty the thing is is about the faith some people believe that those things protect them from the black eye or protect them from the magic or protect them from anything that harms them. So that's why it's a shirk. It's against the Tawheed, it's against the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you rely on those things and do not, you do not attach yourself to Allah. So those things, by one of those things, you are committing the shirk. But some people do not know that, so we have to tell them what the shirk is and what is that. And some people say that this one protects us, so we wore this one. So, okay. Some other example, like that one, uh, it's, it's like usually wearing as well, and like that one. Sometimes that one has got like a, like a pocket and has got, you know, it's a paper which has got unknown language and we don't know what's written there. It's not from the Quran, it's not from the, uh, from the Sunnah. Even it's from the Quran and the Sunnah, that speech of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it shouldn't be where. Because the thing is, if we wear it, we attach our heart to that one. We believe, or some people who wear that one, believe that this protects them and that should not. The one who protects us, the one who can cause harm to us, the one who can do anything to us is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, none other than him. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, What were the ways? The Tamimah. The Tamimah, that the one uh, uh, who he has associated with Allah. So he has uh, committed the shirk, which is association of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so, lastly, Alhamdulillah, we say Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, brothers and sisters, Islam, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, uh, the meaning uh, to the meaning this verse. Uh, إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء which means surely Allah does not forgive that anything be with him associated so if you associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> if you associate with Allah glory to him it cannot be forgiven unless you make a repentance to Allah tawbah. Allah forgives everything by that whatever you've done in your life Allah can forgive that but association, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive unless you make a tawbah, which is repentance to Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, if we have, and this is the statement that uh, I've heard from one of the scholar, Islamic scholar, he said that uh, if we have the Quran and the Sunnah, the Sunnah means the actions and the saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If we have the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. So the question is, why should we rely on Adam than Allah? So if Allah he is our creator, Allah He is our uh, Lord, Allah He protects us, Allah he, uh, he knows everything about us and He knows in the, which is the future and He knows what was in the past and He knows everything about us. Why should we rely on the clothes or why should we rely on something that we wear it and we believe that things protect us? That is not, pro uh, you know, that is not allowed in Islam, it's prohibited actually.
so, Jazakallah khair means uh, may Allah reward you the best, brothers, and uh, may Allah make us understand the, ones, uh, the, the oneness of Allah, which is the Tawheed, and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from the shirk, which is association with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad, peace be upon the Prophet Muhammad, and thank you all for listening, and uh, whatever I make any mistake, it's from myself and from the shaitan, uh, the, the devil. And uh, whatever I make any uh, any good things, it's from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Himself alone. And uh, thank you for listening. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.